Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to um, fix a juicy and very tender um, London Royal steak. Alright, here's my steak. I've already rinsed it off and patted it dry, and <clears throat> I'm going to sear it. Well, first thing I did was I, um, I have my oven preheating at 350. I'm going to sear it in my cast iron porcelain um, pan here, pot, whatever you want to say. And I'm going to start it off at 375. And I'm going to put, um, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Around in here, around that, and I'm going to season this. I'm going to sear it first, but the only thing I'm going to season it with is kosher salt and um, pepper. And so you can see. I'm going to season this on both sides. And this is my ground pepper, my ground black pepper. Alright, now I'm going to turn it over. Do the same thing to this side. Now I want my pan to get really hot before I put this in here. Alright, there's my salt. Here's my cracked black pepper. And I know I've told y'all before, but in case there's someone that's new, I use, um, I go on Amazon, well, I think it's Spice World, and I order Telecherry Black Peppercorns. They have the most awesome taste. I love that pepper. Alright, so, let me see. Yeah, it's hot. Alright, so I'm going to go on and put this steak in the pot and I'm going to sear it and I'm going to let this sear until it gets a good um, brown coating on the outside and when that finishes I'll bring you back okay I'm back and I want to show you this has an awesome sear on it it's been seared and it's <laughs> oh it's just great and see all the, the brown bits on the bottom of the pan well I'm going to cook this low and slow in my oven and I, all those <laughs> brown bits are going to come up and that's going to add even more flavor to it the first thing I'm going to add is one can of Swanson beef broth. Beef broth. And then I'm going to add um, one of my pint jars of water. Already. Oh, it smells awesome. Already. And I've got two beef bouillon cubes. I only had one can of beef, of beef broth. Wow, that's hard for me to say some, for some reason. <laughs> so I'm going to put two, two bouillon cubes in, beef bouillon cubes in here. And I've got a yellow onion and a red onion. And if y'all are noticing the black on my hands, 
when I peeled that red onion, um, black got all over me. Alright, so I've got the two bouillons. Alright, now I'm going to cut the yellow onion. And I'm just going to cut it up into um, <coughs> eighths. Do it like this. And put them in. Mama's got this cut up. And then I'm going to put in Worcestershire. And I can say that, Worcestershire. Um, I don't know how much, I really can't tell how much is in here. So, um, that's not, that was about a tablespoon. So, I had another one out just in case. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce in here. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of onion powder. And out in little things, but it's not going to make any difference. Even with all the onions, I'm going to put the onion powder in here. And then I'm going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder in here. And I know y'all are thinking, why don't, why don't you use Real garlic, well, y'all should know, I really don't like garlic that much. I'm beginning to have a <laughs> taste for it, but um, not so much that I will use real garlic. Um, so I'm going to put, this time I'm going to put coarse ground black pepper, and I'm just going to put um, ever how much you want in there. We like a lot of of black pepper so and that's all I'm going to put in there now I'm probably gonna have to put I think y'all should be able to see that I'm probably gonna have to put some more um, water in here I don't have any more broth so I'm gonna I've got chicken broth but I really don't want to use that so I'm gonna go on and put another um, pint of uh, water in here. I'm going to put this, the top on this, and I'm going to put it in the oven. And my oven is preheated now to 350, and I'm going to let this cook in here for <laughs> about three hours. Because I want this to be really tender and to just fall apart. So, I will bring you back when this is ready. Okay, I did want to bring you back and show you this before I put it in the oven. This is, I've got um, all the liquids in it now, and the onions, and the garlic powder, Worcestershire, and this is, this is not a very big London broil, but I think it will be enough for us, and I did want to just bring you back and show you this and I'm going to go on and put the, the lid on this and there's my cast iron um, I think this is 
uh, Dutch oven, I think that's what you call it. And so I'm going to go on and put this in the oven and let this cook on 350 for about three hours. And like I said, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. And my London broil has been cooking all day. And I'm going to get it out now and put it on this plate. This is like a just a huge steak. And you can see the juices in here. The juices on here will be so good. And the onions. So what I'm going to do is, um, hold on, i got to get a fork. Alright, I want to show you how to cut this up. Um, the grain is going this way. So I'm going to cut it, slice it across that way against, against the grain. And you can see this is so tender that it wants to just fall apart. I love fixing roast or whatever like this. It just falls apart though. And I think what I'm going to do with this is instead of fixing mashed potatoes and all that stuff. I think I just want a um, beef sandwich. So I can't even, this is so tender I can't cut it. So I just wanted to bring you back and show you that this is an awesome way to fix a London broil. It just falls apart. It is so tender. Let me take a bite of it. Oh. Mm. Oh gosh. Mm. Let me get a piece of this onion. This is so good. I love the taste of this. It's going to be so good on a sandwich with mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. I love it. But anyway, I just wanted to bring you back and show you. Um, that you see how tender it is because it just literally falls apart. I can't, I can't even cut it. So, um, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a good night. Bye.